Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you the GI or the graphical interface software features of the MSI Make Core Liquid S360 AIO cooler. So let's get started. First we have to install the MSI Center. I've attached the link of it and you can download the software if you have this AIO cooler or other MSI uh, products and they can all show up. From the MSI Center go to features and then co go to Core Liquid. And as soon as you go there, you can see the GI of the cooler. First, you can activate the LCD display. You can see if I disable it. You can see the real time, it's disabled. And if you enable it, it's very responsive. You can adjust the brightness. Like this. And you can even also, depending on the direction that you have installed the AIO, you can you can just change it. If you have a, put it in a different angle, you can also um, align it with the text, etc. So I've had it on the default. So once we are done from here, you can see here there is the hardware monitor. You can choose up to five items. I have chose the CPU frequency. Uh, the liquid temperature, the PCU output, and the water block fan, and the pump speed, the hardware monitoring. So here, the default one is this. You can see it's, it, it has changed in real time as well. So you can choose between those three and also make yours. I have made mine depending on the colors. You can see here, uh, I can choose the frame color and the font, uh, the font color. And even the the text uh, style you can choose between the three and change the color uh, i have made cyberpunk uh, 2077 theme so i chose the yellow and the turquoise <laughs> uh, here you can go back to the the one i had if you go to the video and image you can see that you can select between a g file and the mp4 and the G JPEG uh, format but please make sure that uh, each format can have maximum of, of 10 files and the dimension is 320 by 240 pixels and now I'll show you how to make yours you can choose between image I'll choose my YouTube channel profile I've already uh, reduced the dimension of it to, uh, to be optimized with the screen and now it's apply and there you go it's placed okay i like it I, it's, it's a good feature that you can also put your image or whatever image you like and you can also put a video as well so that's it and it's apply and have everything let's go now to the customized banner and choose between those different ones that you can also customize yours you have these frames and you can also put your frame as well for example let's have this dragon and then you can write whatever text that you want you can choose the one line multi line uh, make sure that after you write you choose the upload and the apply and you can also adjust the speed of it from fast to normal to slow and it, uh, change the color and the font size and uh, style so that's a customized banner let's head now to the system clock you can depending on the, your PC time you can change the time so now I have 12 11 you can choose the style and now let's go to the live weather the local weather renew every three hours yeah now it's uh, it's accurate Yeah, it's cute. Oh, yeah, I think it's lovely. So now that's uh, just all the LCD display capabilities. We, we have uh, covered all of them. Let's go back to the hardware monitor. That is my favorite one. Yeah, it, now it's showing up. Okay, now let's head to the fan settings where you can choose between different presets. You can choose the silent, the balance, the game mode, and the customize for the fan speed and noise depending 
you can also create your own curve uh, if I choose now balance it's already set on balance anyway if I choose customize I can make my own preset I just have to drag those dots yeah the pump speed is up to 60 percent it should be 60 percent in the radiator fan you can adjust the fan speed and the water block which is a fan inside the AIO uh, that will reduce the temperature of the motherboard and the VRM so it's it's a, it's a nice feature that uh, there is an extra fan inside the AIO so I can set reset all of them it's apply they are back to the default so that's it for this video if you are looking to get this AIO model I personally recommend it it's the best AIO I've ever had so far personally and I like the software capabilities they are not very complicated and straight to the point as we have seen and I hope that you found this video useful and if so please give your like and subscribe to my channel in order to see my latest uploads and write in the comment down below about your current cooler and experience with coolers in general I'd love to have a cooling discussion with you all and see you in the next one.